Welcome back to Let's Play Marlow Briggs and the Mask of Death. I'm Burning Dog Face. Oh, God, I hate when that happens. <laughs> and I gotta keep going. Oh, boy. Victory. Don't mind if I do before we get going. Oh, hey! Delicious health. There's a guy with a really big hammer down there. I didn't do anything. Catan the boar. But it says Chieftain Hammerhead up in the corner. Oh, I think it was like an exclamation. It's like, by Paton's name! Paton, uh, Paton the boar, you know, follows. This is, uh, Paton's tusk, after all. Uh. Ow! Ow! My fucking organs! Leave them be! Right? Newest strategy. Cut your fucking ankles off. Ow. ow. Stupid spinny attack. Getting me from all angles. Eat a dick! Have to impact him. Fucking demons, be gone! This is more like it. No, you've killed my friend. You there, help me murder your friend for revenge. Never mind, I got it. You are a worthy foe, Chieftain. Oh. Spencer's Prodigy left a comment, uh, informing me that Akan is a real god. I looked it up, and, uh, yes, Akan is the Mayan god of drunkenness. Not of alcohol, of drunkenness. Uh, there seems to be a bit of a debate on whether or not his name means Belch. Planning every aspect of our next attack. Hmm? Truly the act of a wise strategist. Oh, and Arizoko was surprised that I can mind control the possessed enemies. Which, uh, is a very good point now that I think about it. 
know, since they're already being possessed by demons and all that. As he put it, are you controlling the possessor or the possessee? Shut up. I, I knew that was there. I'm gonna throw out a guess here. These three platforms are gonna start retracting into the ground the instant I let go of this, uh... crank. I was wrong. Damn it. Oh well, you know. There are enough games where that happens. There's a giant turbine over there for some reason. Oh god! Why do these pillars keep falling over? They've stood for tens of thousands of years and they're only giving up now? I can't even look at whatever's going on over there. Oh, they're shooting at bugs. trying to decide whether I should say rest in peace to the woman who drove a scythe through my heart. Ah, oh, what the hell. Rest in peace. Out you go. the proper safe route for once. Seems like an odd place to... Okay, fine. <laughs> Couldn't get past it. That's really funny. That one was not as well hidden as some of the others. Rock you like a loading screen. Oh, I see they're from the cargo company. Oh 
Oh no. The prophecy did not say you would be quite so embarrassed. Damn it. This is easier in Frogger, and you only have to hit up on the keyboard. Okay, let's fix this problem. Oh my god. This is the first time since the uh, jump cut. I just needed one more. Pardon me for a moment, I didn't actually start my timer because I thought that was going to take a bunch of tries. Embarrassing. And there it goes. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, because all the guys before this have been joking. They do not. That's the important thing. Marlo, nobody is safe here. Long's workers found another slab with strange carvings, so he flew us in to translate it. The first few symbols translated to nine broken wings. The old belief was that human spirits flew on three wings, so I told Long it meant three souls. The moment I finished talking, Long shot two of the workers and one of his bodyguards. He smiled and said he could feel the temple blessing him, and then he started to cut up the bodies. Marlo, don't do any rescuing. You need to get away from here before it's too late for both of us. All right, that's where I'm going. I'll just uh, grab some mana over. Oh, good. These guys, I can't remember how to deal with. Fuck it. That's it. That's the one. Doesn't matter what combo we use this thing, so beware, for the time of the hammer is upon you! Shit! Eh. This one is more out of the way, so I'm going to look over here first. Oh, nothing. There's just nothing over here. It's just a weird camera angle. I could try jumping over the edge, but... I mean, it could be one of those bullshit things where it's like, oh, there's a hidden p p platform down here that you will never know unless you randomly take a blind jump off of this cliff. Or, you know, you, like, read it on the internet, or in a strategy guide. You are lucky to share your life with such a woman. Clearly she understands what is at stake, and will give her life to ensure the safety of your own. She will act. Gross. Now it would be funny if these things started being possessed. Like, look at this. We found the one creature in the jungle. So unpleasant that even demons don't want anything to do with it. Look at those little wiggly legs. 
Gross. What are they called? Great peril ahead. We should proceed cautiously. Borer maggots. Great peril ahead. Man, great peril has been kicking our asses this whole time. Okay, okay. Just trying to be helpful. Stuck. He does have a good point, though. Great peril. Oh, God, great. Let's see. This is an invisible wall. That's kind of what I'm talking about here. Like. Would it really have been that much harder to just make the wall come out at this spot? Or, you know, to let the player walk over all of, like, three feet and then put nothing over there? I'm not saying you need to put on a new camera angle and add some hidden goodies, just... You know, make the level geometry line up with the visual geometry. Ah, well. Time to say hello. Knock, knock, bitches! Marlo Briggs is in the house. I just made a mistake. Are we on the right track? No, but it's the only track. Great. Well, he's not wrong. Thought we went to the Mayan underworld already. They're not even spinning. They're being pulled on cables. Right, I just did that. In fact, I had like three opportunities to heal since then. Okay, let's fucking do this. By the way, I remembered... I finally remembered. That the last time I uh, played an Aztec-themed game, it was The Ball, which I wholeheartedly recommend. Well, if you're into puzzle games, I mean... Fuck. No one can know. I took embarrassing amounts of damage from that. Oh, that was easy. We made it to the underworld. Look at that. Thank you. That bug is on fire. I bet it smells real bad in here right now. I don't know why I said that as a song. Lord knows I've talked about dumber things in these videos. Well, it does keep kind of coming back to that one, huh? I just think I remember having a conversation with myself. Debating wh which monster in Doom 3 smelled the worst. I believe it came down to the Mancubus. Give it a second. Man, I've never seen so many of these things! I fear that as long draws closer to finishing the ritual, more and more demons are able to cross over into this world. This is ah! You must stop him. He'll be my special friends! Jesus Christ. Why is the Juggernaut attacking them? I guess he just attacks everything, huh? Oh, thank you. Why isn't that working? Damn it! Ah, fuck it. Everyone gets to die! Gruesome death awaits you all! Oh, Jesus! This guy is not making this easy. Fuck! Back off! Get your own sandwich! Oh, 
quite interesting that he makes the voice clip even if you get your uh, actual spell casting it's interrupted. Never gonna get a teleporter. Not with this guy. I mean, it did, but it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Here's shit in your eye, you bitch. Fatality. Can you fly, Jimmy? Ah, satisfying. Sorry about that. I uh, just needed to sneeze. But uh, the timer has gone off, so... I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Marlo Briggs and the Mask of Death. When we continue into the Mayan Underworld... close in on our final confrontation with Heng Long. Later!